guys and welcome back to another video and this video is gonna be yet again another 21 days of makeup basically as i said whenever we are in a fit of what to do this is what we're gonna be doing so yeah last time i did my whole base before i even started and sometimes that restricts a lot of these looks so i didn't do it right now so what i'm gonna do is i'll pick the chit and then do my base off camera and then come back now another important thing to tell y'all is right now it's about 1 a.m i was procrastinating the whole entire day but then suddenly my creative juices started flowing and i was like let me just do it today so that i don't have to worry about it and i can enjoy my weekend in peace so we're gonna pick a chit now all the chits are in here why am i using a handbag to do this don't ask me because i don't even know Please pick something easy because I don't want to like do a full face that's difficult to remove because it's already 1am. Okay. It says 1414. So I'm going to quickly check what that is. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's my cat. My kitten. Somebody told her when she was born that, listen, you're not a kitten, you're a cub. And she believes that. She thinks she's a cub. So number 14 is lots of gold. I don't know, last time it was lots of pink and I, I had already done something like that previously. And if I'm not wrong, I have done something on the lines of like gold. If I'm not wrong, it was the summer glam video. But yeah, that's what I have picked. So we're gonna go with it. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. I'm gonna quickly do my base off camera and be right back. Yeah, so I did my base and I put on this really ugly <laughs> clown-like top because that's the only gold top that I have and I thought why not go all out as I usually do. Also, just a side note, I would love if y'all would just ignore this brow. I don't know what's been up like there's been like hair fall towards the end and I don't didn't want to like over bombard it with products and then it looks like a black cello tape i am more of a feathery natural brow kind of girl for highlight today i'll be using my pack cosmetics baked highlighter in the shade 05 and look how beautifully gold it is yeah i'm just gonna take that on the bridge of my nose and also on the tip of my nose but not too much these highlighters are beautiful beautiful is an understatement they look so skin like but are still very much out there like y'all can see it for yourself they are so reflective and gorgeous in the most subtle way but sadly you can't find pack here but for the people that live in india i would say pick these up I like to do my highlight under my blush because then it looks like it's an inner glow rather than just sitting like a strip on your cheek. I don't like that look. That's not my journey. Leave it on the chin. Usually I would go in with this on my inner corner but I don't know yet what I'm going to That's the best thing about these videos. I go in so blind. I have no clue yet what I'm going to be creating. Gold eyes it said. I'm not going to waste any more time. I feel like I slightly have an idea what I'm going to go for but I don't know if it's going to work out. So fingers crossed uh, but I'm gonna start with a light wash of the bronzer that I used on my face in the crease I'm just gonna use this shimmery bronzer since it has a little bit of gold reflect in it I'm just gonna take that kind of all over my lids as you can see it has a nice gold reflect to it kind of going all over the lid while like concentrating it on the crease. Okay, I'm not happy with the depth yet. So what I'm gonna do is with a little more concentrated yet fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade from this palette. It's from Shein, I'm so sorry. But I'm pretty sure you'll find something like this in any palette. I'm gonna go in with this cool toned brown on my outer corners and a little bit in the crease. Now I'm gonna go back 
in with this brush that I was using earlier without any product in it and make sure there are no harsh lines. I need to uninstall TikTok. Yeah, that's the depth that I was talking about and I'm kind of loving it. I'm gonna take the shade a little more in the crease because I know that once the golden comes in, it's gonna go away anyway. So I wanna make sure there's like a nice continuity. Now that that's nicely blended, I'm just gonna use the same brush. Whatever is remaining on the brush, give my lower lash line a wash of the same color so that it looks nice and continuous. a very minimal smokiness. I'm gonna hop into one of my most favorite palettes, Bretman Rock into Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna use this shade. I've been dying to use it. I've used it in the past, but uh, not fully, just on the inner corners. So I'm just gonna place it in my inner corners and I want it to be extremely precise. So that's why I'll be using a packing brush in the beginning and then I will pack it on using my hands. I'm gonna use a brush that looks like this. That looks beautiful. So take it on the inner corners and down. Just want to make sure it's nicely packed on. Same thing on this side. First of all, let's appreciate this shade it's beautiful i haven't like used any fix plus or anything this is the shade on its own i didn't even have to go in with the finger because the payoff is so good without any kickback that's why i'm gonna stop with this shade now i have a plan but i don't know if it's gonna work out so i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm gonna use brown gel liner and create a wing after that i have something planned if it looks good it looks good if it doesn't it doesn't I'm just gonna create a very very thin line extremely close to my lash line. Okay, let's do this. I'm starting in the middle. Beautiful, it's not at all even. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! I think it is pretty even. I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, that's not it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to use this Stila thing that I have and go right over the brown wing with a very thin brush. I don't know if y'all understood any of that, but I'm gonna do it in a minute and I hope then y'all understand what I did. See, I'm using another like thin brush like earlier and I'm just gonna go right above the brown liner. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm just giving it a shot. Not bad. I think it looks very pretty. I don't think it's picking up on camera. <laughs> what a pain. I should have just stopped at the brown eyeliner. It was looking beautiful. I'm gonna go back into the brown and define the one beneath. And let's see how it works. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like I want the brown to still be there. Yep. I like that actually, it looks very cute. Okay, so final touches, I'm just gonna take a nice brownie red kind of color, like something like this. Go between, like right here, lower lash line and 
join it here where the wing is so since the eyes are extremely bold what i'm gonna do is go extremely relaxed on the face i'm gonna use my highlight before i go in with the blush same highlight we're going all out with gold today just a little bit about my brow Whatever that face was. Can y'all see? It's so like skin like. It literally looks like it's just the light that's hitting my face. Once that's done, I'm gonna take my blush brush and go in with a beautiful nude blush. I'm gonna go in with a very nude blush. Maybe this one. Blush on the nose is a must. We don't skip that ever. What I'm going to do next is just plain intensify like all the places that need to be intensified. <laughs> wow, I did a great job explaining that. But yeah, I'm just going to intensify my brow bone highlight. Okay, that's that. Should I put this gold? Actually, there's this another gold in this palette that matches my. It's like a more of a olivey gold. Should I? It's very nice and creamy. I guess we're going on that. Some lipstick. What do you guys think I should do? I feel like gold and red goes really well together. Let's see how it looks. We can always change the lip. Oh my god, I look so scary right now. I don't like this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with. I think something orangey toned would look nice. I'm gonna try this NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Teacher's Pet. Yes, I think this. Mm, I think I need to mix something with this. Maybe Ashton? Yeah, I think Ashton. I'm gonna set my face real quick. I'm gonna use my good old Elf Glow Dewy Mist. We've like really gone for that glow today, so why not? Once that's done, I'm gonna put on some mascara. It's like 3 a.m. right now, so I'm not gonna put anything that's difficult to take off of my face. So I'm just gonna use this tubing mascara by L'Oreal and it's their double extend. I can't find my lash curler, so I'm not even gonna do that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so lazy. Y'all don't deserve this. That's the completed look. Actually, I ended up liking this look a little more than I thought I would. This is definitely one of the most, I mean, I think this is the most glam look that I've done on this channel. Please comment down below and let me know if you liked it. If you all recreated, please DM me your pictures. I'd love to see them. And that's about it for today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed because I surely did. I love making these uh, videos, especially this series because I have no idea at the beginning of the video what I'm going to look like at the end and that's like so crazy like the whole process of pulling it off but yeah i really like this look and that's about it for today's video and i can't wait to see you guys again oh wait don't forget to like share and subscribe while you're at it this is my final goodbye bye <laughs>